Gara is tired. Uh, time for you to get some rest, Gara. So, welcome back, everyone, to a brand new episode of Let's Retro Monster Rancher Advance 2. Hey, Gara, what's this week? Yep. So, remember how I was telling you I had a book before? That had all the very important things about feeding. Yeah. It's all about how full you can feed it. Hmm, Jesus. When you train it while it's hungry, the monster will be worn out. So when you're raising the monster, carefully, you must choose the food that makes that makes it full. But if you overfeed it some types of food, your monster will get too fat or too thin. If the monster's too fat, it can easily get tired. And if it gets too thin, it can be really stressful. Try to feed your monster a variety of food. Now, what should we feed Gara this month? So, I'm gonna do meat the first month. Food okay. So usually what I like to do is, I like to alternate between the foods that they like the most, scaling down to the food they like the least, so four, three, two. I won't go all the way down to one because foods that are, that are ones are not only are they not like, they don't usually fill them up at all. So like in Gara's case, it'd be probably like meat, fish, oranges, meat, fish, oranges in that order. At least that way he gets a nice mix. Completely satisfied. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear the paper flipping. It's because I'm going through that same book that I was talking to you about. That I saved uh, some of the old codes that I had for monsters from uh, the good old days. Back when I used to play this on uh, my Game Boy Advance. So let's get some training done. Also get these. Now this is this is actually a very bad trait. You can actually get rid of that trait if you go to the hospital. Mm. Figure obese, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we gotta slim you down, Gar. Ah, there it is, the family tree. I remember this. Zest is here too. Don't make me sound like an afterthought. Hi again, Holly. It's nice to meet you again. Now that your ranch is so famous, there's no way we can catch up. I hope you teach me plenty. Of course, but please, don't make me blush. Now, now, Roma. Holly has much more experience. Come on, I know that. By the way, Holly, there's a new fighting style that's all the rage now in age. All the rage? Fighting style. Yep, it's called countering. Do you know it? I'm gonna say no just for the sake of uh, getting the story. It's not just fighting back? No, it's not just that. It's risky, but you can do a lot of damage. When you're attacked, a counter will do a lot of damage if you're lucky. But if you fail, you'll be the one hurting. And at the 25% success rate, I'd only use it if I were really desperate. I'll teach you. It can help in a pinch. Great aroma, thanks. In battle, press the B button to enter pre-counter mode. Pressing one of the four directions after that will put you in counter mode. That's it? That's it. If your attacks are in this mode, you'll counter automatically. Success depends on what you do after you hit the B button. It's tied to which direction you press. But if you decide to attack during this, counter mode will be cancelled and you'll have to enter it all over again. Watch out. You can't counter after a while if you cancel counter mode. Also, in counter mode, you can't finish them off, so be careful. And if the counter fails, it will take big damage here, huh? 
Guess we'll be able to be careful from now on. Thanks, Aroma. My pleasure. Dude, Holly, I'd, uh... I'd like to, uh... What? I've brought my monster. Let's fight. It's time you try that counter mode. What? Right now? Come on, she doesn't want to. I'm sorry, Atum. Oh, don't worry. A little easy on you, okay? Here we go. What? Alright, Gal. Gara versus Tree Hello. Oh man, I'm going to get the floor wiped. Oh, get that. Good dodge. Good work, Gara. Oh no. Come on, Gara, come on. Double deck. You mad, buddy? Can't counter when you have no cuts. Get him! Yes! Alright, so I didn't even get to use counter mode, but I might as well explain it while I'm there. I'll have a, the old thing pulled up on the screen. So, the arrow that was on screen, that'll tell you when you're in counter mode. If the arrow is blue, you're in counter. Uh, if it's yellow, I think you're in pre counter. If it's red, you can't counter. That was great! You shouldn't do that to people all of a sudden. Your monster's so strong even though you just started raising it. I can't wait to fight you in a tournament. Yeah. Sorry about that. Really? No, it's okay. The monster learned a lot. See you later. Hi. I remember when I used to be that reckless too. Let's work hard to catch up to you too. Gara seems to be in good shape. Right, let's see, what's the next tournament? Missed the spring cup because of that stupid battle. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's try accuracy some more. Gara, you just did it right. Come on. Well, let's go to this time. Square. 
actually talk to the builder here. I'm so surprised when I saw him here. We can ask him to build to repair our bonds. I wonder where he went. Bint! Oh, Holly. What's up? Huh? What have you got with you? Bint, this is a tune who I'm helping out as an assistant. This is Bint, a builder I've known for ages. He works really fast and really well. Nice to meet you. Huh? You want to rebuild? How would you like it? No, no, no. What's that? You want to stop? Huh? Just let me know when you're ready. The town builder here? When you talk to him, he actually upgrades your ranch. And that's how you get the bigger ranch, so that, that way, you can have bigger monsters. A tomb, this is the hospital. You should bring your, mon your monster here if you get sick or injured. They can also remove unwanted traits from your monster with surgery, and they do free checkups too. It's great. Some illnesses can only be detected here. Remember that if your monster is behaving oddly. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, hi there. Sorry I wasn't at the reception desk. I'll get a doctor. No, that's okay. It's our first time, so we're just looking. Oh, really? Please feel free. Thanks. Just ask if you'd like to have a checkup. Medical. You'd like to have a checkup? Okay, please go on through. No problem. Perfect health. Try to keep it up. Or you could have the operations. You'd like a surgery to remove a bad trait? Right, let's take a look. Which trait would you like to remove? Unfortunately, this part is unskippable. You have to sit here and wait for the operation to be over. Ah, it's over. It's over. The operation is a success. Goodbye. Take care. Yep, that's it. Doesn't take up any time, so... That's pretty much all there is at the main part. Other than obviously going to Agima. Yep, back to the entry go. But... There is stuff that you could do specifically at Agima that can help you out later. Just not useful to me right now. Gara, come on, my guy. Alright, can do it. Uh, I 
got a lot of training to do until then. Ascended to the heavens. In keeping with that legend, valiant souls have gathered today in order to honor the dragon in his journey. May you all soar today. Let the rising dragon begin. A tune we've got to aim for the top. Of course. All right. So this is the round robin tournaments. So you're gonna have to battle everyone. I just wanna give you orders. All right. Mercury. This is gonna be a tough battle. Oh, this is the DJ. DJ Dog. Oh no. Take it, DJ Dog. Oh my god, I used to call him DJ Dog because that move scratch. He dodged. Like I said, if like you're desperate, that's when I use it. But outside of that, I just aim for high accuracy, high speed, and just swing as hard as I can. Gara wins the match. And there we go. Darkseed has won the match. So there we go. I just want to give Gara orders. Whoever has the most wins ends up winning the tournament. If it's a tie, then and the battle again and again. It's every piece of fire in the I don't know if that's actually possible in these real round battles. Nice. And it's shockingly accurate. Okay, good, good, good. Dodge. Look at you go. Proud of you, my dude. Ooh, and the speed. Get smacked. Yeah, Gara. Gara wins another one. Darkseed. Ooh, Darkseed loses. That's it. I'm pretty much cemented as the victor. Unless Darkseed wins against me, in which case we end up with a tie. And if... If I beat Darkseed, that's it. I'm guaranteed to win. And if I tie... Oh, if I lose, then it's a tie. Oh, this guy went straight for the tail slap. You thought. You thought. I try 
I'm better than that, my guy. Uh-oh. Oof. Dara, come on. Oh, no. I need one more hit. Come on, Dara. There we go, Dara. There we go. That's the damage I need to... now, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, the last second dodge. Oh, I think he still beat me, though. I think he still beat me. Barely, but he beat me. Yup. Right, it's a tiebreaker time. wins because there are two competitors with the same score we will now hold a deciding match all right gara here we go last chance buddy Don't do counters, boy. That's why you don't do counters. Gara wins the match. And Gara wins the tournament. Yeah, Rising Dragon Champion. Here are the results of your tournament. These are the prize this is the prize money you win. Think Gara's popularity has changed? Good. Picking up popularity. Gara improves some of today's battle. Went up by nine, like it. Speeding up by four. Yes. Good boy, Ara. It did it. Ara seems to be a little tired. Let's get you some rest, buddy. Ara looks pretty energetic. So, that's the cool thing about this game. You could just schedule stuff, you know. Be awesome. That's Neo Age. I'll put that one in the schedule. I would like to do at least the E the E cup and the tribe or round robins. I wanna do this one though. It's gonna be rough. Let's do some more training then in the meantime. Your accuracy needs to go. Oh my God. There we go. Training center is having a big sale. Training is only a thousand G. It's a lot cheaper than it usually is. Say, Tim, sparring's on sale this month. It's a great chance to train Dara. Yeah, but uh, the sparring also takes a month. Hello? Oh, Francesca, it's you. Hello. How are you two doing? You're making progress slowly, I guess. <laughs> you're way too modest. There's an announcement from Agima today. And you're going around telling all the ranches? Gee, that's so nice of you. Here's what it is all about. Do you and the two know about super coaches? Super coaches? What are they? Well, let me explain. The super coach program is Agima's new plan for beefing up monster levels. They're going to be sending out super high level monsters as coaches. These coaches are even higher than S rank. Wow. You'd like to sign one of them up. 
thing is, no one ever knows when one will turn up. The only thing you can do is know that one will appear every two years just for one month. It's supposed to appear in even numbered years. Renewing a contract with one doesn't cost any more than ordinary coaches, but their deposit are much higher. Thanks, we'll have to save up our money. Does Agima announce when, the, when a super coach shows up? Unfortunately, they don't. Announcements might arrive at ranches at different times, so to keep things fair, they don't announce it. You just have to be sure you go to Agima regularly. Okay, I see. If we stop by Agima often, we might be lucky enough to catch a super coach. That's right, so don't forget these things. They're really powerful, but they only appear for one month every other year, in even numbers. And the deposit is several times higher than an ordinary coaches. Okay, I think we've got it. So be sure to stop by Agima often then. Okay, thanks. Oops, gotta run. Now, what trench was next? Hey, Francesca. Huh? Yeah? Thanks for all your hard work, huh? Well, thanks. I do my best. Okay, thank you, Francesca. Car looks pretty lively. So, at the end of this month, we've got this one. Aguma officials, if you win them, you go up to the next rank. Hi everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome one and all. The official Aguma Rank E Championship is about to begin. It's a tough match with competitors ranging from first timers to future age champions. The first step of a long journey. Let the official Aguma E begin. I read that backwards. Alright, so. Ooh, wow. Lars, Iris, Marco. I actually remember these names. To give Gara orders, yes. I always give Gara orders. Alright, so I got some decent accuracy now. Got some good speed. And it increased my defense in my life, though. Oof. Alright, Gara. You know that accuracy training, my guy. Yeah, it's called 
let you rest. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for today's episode of Monster Rancher Advance 2. We'll go ahead. I might do some training for Gara off screen. I don't think so. Now I think about it because I forget it progresses the game regardless. But yeah, that'll be the end of today's episode. What I'm going to do is... I can't really do anything off screen now that I think about it. I want to see the next major target. December, January, February. I don't get it. That's it. It's, the next one's in February. You know what? I might do some Austrian training, at least to get to February. And get to here. Because that one kind of vital. I want to progress the story, and the only way to progress it is to go up these ranks. So I think I'll do actually some Austrian training, like I said. And by the next episode that comes up, it'll be... Uh, probably like January or February right before the tournament. So that way, you know, Gara actually stands a chance of doing something. But, other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play, or Let's Retro Monster Rancher Advance 2. Um, there is going to be a change in the schedule for this entire week and pretty much thereafter. I'm going to add a grand total of, or have a grand total of three Let's Retro episodes, because by the time you see this, Oxen Free should be done by now. So, it'll be the three episodes of Let's Retro. One will be Monster Rancher, the other two will be Shining Force. I don't know in what order they'll be going in, but for now, tentatively, it's Monster Rancher, then two Shining Force back-to-back. -back. So, Thursday and Saturday. So that that way, I can get those games done. Especially because, uh, Shining Force is such a long game. I at least want it to be going a little smoother. Now... The next major announcement that I have is that um, once I am done with both Shining Force and uh, Shining Force, there was another game that I was playing this really long, Final Fantasy, there we go. Uh, I will be doing uh, Monster Hunter on Fridays, so that will be my next major game. So Monster Hunter for Fridays and for Saturdays. Potentially Warframe, and I will be bringing back my good old friend Diana for that one. She plays that more than I do. I have zero clue what that game is about, so she can help me with that. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Monster Rancher Advance 2. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know some names or some codes that you guys might think of using for, you know, the shrine and other names for monster such. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time. Uh, if you like today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Join the Curly Crew and hit that notification bell. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Monster Rancher Dance 2. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day, everyone. <laughs>